At Christmas time, there are gifts to others, but there are also gifts to yourself. One of the best gifts that you can ever give yourself is letting go of the past. And I know that that's easier said than done, but it needs to be done. And what better Christmas gift to wrap up and give yourself this Christmas? To decide that no longer will the past rob you of the present. In Proverbs 24, verse 10, the Bible says, If you do nothing in a difficult time, your strength is limited. Well, today I ask you to give yourself the gift of putting the past and its troubles behind you and to go ahead in a new way, to go into not only Christmas, but the new year with a new self, empowered by God. William James was the son of a noted theologian. He was a brother of a great novelist, a Harvard professor, and one of the founding fathers of American psychology. He was also a common-sense philosopher who once observed this. He said, Nothing is so fatiguing as the eternal hanging on of an uncompleted task. How true. Sometimes we hang on and we hang on and we hang on and it becomes a bigger and bigger and bigger problem. And I'm not preaching. It is something I've done myself many times. Sometimes it's tempting to postpone the unpleasant, thus allowing minor troubles to absolutely mushroom out of control. But as James was quick to point out, procrastination is the sand in the machinery of life. So, this Christmas, do yourself a favor. Give up the past, but also give up the past ways. Give up the past of of constant procrastination and putting things off. And finish the unfinished work, even if it is unpleasant. It's a lot easier now than it will be later on. And it is the very best gift that you can give you to put that trouble behind you so you can walk ahead into a new day, fresh. It has been said that all that is necessary to break the spell of inertia and frustration is this. Act as if it were impossible to fail. That is the command of the right about face that turns us from failure to success. And that is my prayer for you today. I pray that as you do these things, as you leave your past behind, as you leave the things behind that you have been procrastinating to do and do them, that you'll find with God it is impossible to fail. And what better knowledge to have any time of the year, especially at Christmas time.